young leaders will will pop up, and you you know you need to develop young leaders. Uh, and uh, I I suggest that you know uh, think about the young people in your church. You can handpick you know uh, who are the potential leaders, right? Uh, you can identify uh, potential leaders in Thai Sri, just like what Mike said, uh, and then after you select potentials then you start coaching them training them uh, training doesn't need to be you know uh, you don't you don't have to send them to a conference like this uh, training you know doesn't need to be expensive uh, I think uh, even more important than uh, going to conferences you know uh, regular coaching really you know uh, in, you know in, in the in the professional well, you, know, you call it on the job training. You know, it's coaching. You know, every you know every day, every week, you coach them. Uh, you uh, give them personal attention, personal care. You, know, you encourage them to learn on their own uh, with books. Uh, you, know, you know, internet. Uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, training uh, venues. Uh, they are you know not as costly as a conference, right? And then. At the same time, you give them opportunity to exercise their leadership potentials, uh, like what we do in Houston. You know, I think uh, you know, I think we do a lot. We're doing a lot of uh, good things in terms of leadership <coughs> development in, in Houston. You know, we, we give people, uh, young emerging leaders, uh, a chance to lead various events, or various initiatives. You know, and then that's what I mean by sharing the platform now. Expanding the platform. Uh, here's what I what I, what I mean. Uh, I think uh, if you want to uh, develop uh, young leaders, I think your church, your your organization needs to grow. Uh, what I mean is, uh, you know, if if your church or your organization grows, uh, that will automatically create new opportunities for young leaders. So let's say 10 years ago, you know, in your local church, there are, let's say, 10 uh, leadership.